In this TaxLayer Pro training video, we'll go through the setup and configuration of the 2017 TaxLayer Pro desktop version. I've logged onto my account and I've downloaded the installation file. So I'll click Next to begin the installation of the 2017 TaxLayer program. I need to accept the license agreement click Next. I'm going to install the program to my computer's hard drive, which in most cases will be the C drive. And I'll click the Install Shield button to begin the installation. The Install Shield wizard will now go through its routine and complete the installation step of the program onto my computer's hard drive. I'm now told that the Install Shield wizard has successfully installed the 2017 TaxLayer program, so I'll click the Finish button. I now have a 2017 TaxLayer Pro icon on my desktop, and I'll double click that icon to load the program for the first time. The next message I'll see is an on screen message thanking me for choosing TaxLayer Pro and telling me that I'll be asked to enter information pertaining to my firm. So I'll click OK on that button to begin the setup process. Now, this next screen is a very important message screen, so you'll want to read these instructions very carefully because we're committed to ensuring that the data and the privacy of our customers is protected. We've made certain that we comply with the latest software industry standards. During the initial setup, you'll be asked to enter a 12-digit EFIN validation code. This will be an alphanumeric code unique to your EFIN. You'll be asked to set up an administration account as well as usernames and passwords for each preparer in your office. You'll need to complete these steps very carefully and be sure to take note of the usernames and passwords. Industry standards now require these passwords to expire after a certain period of time, so you'll be asked to reset these every 180 days. If you click the link of the step-by-step -step instruction guide, you'll be taken to a web page that will give you a downloadable 2017 TaxLayer Installation Guide PDF. You may print this document or save it to your Windows desktop for future reference. Next, if I had used the TaxLayer Pro desktop version last year, I'd be asked if I would like to use the same network configuration from the previous year. For this video, I'll answer no. Next, I'll see a question asking if I'm using a network in my office and again, for purposes of this video, I'll select No. I'll simply select Exit on the System Network Configuration menu. Now, I'm asked to fill in all of the information pertaining to my firm. I've filled in my firm name, contact name, EFIN, and also, at this point, I've entered my EFIN validation code. The code is found in the History tab of my account. And again, this is a 12-digit validation code unique to your EFIN. We'll click OK once all of that information has been entered. And on the next screen, I can carefully review the information that I just entered about my firm to make sure that everything is correct. Once I've reviewed the information, I can click the exit button and continue with the software setup. Next, I'm asked to create an admin account. This account must be created in order to manage preparer usernames and passwords. This admin account will have limited access to other parts of the program. Again, we establish this account simply to create usernames and passwords. Make certain that you create a strong password for this admin account. The 
password will need to contain at least eight characters using upper and lower case letters, at least one number, and at least one special character such as an exclamation or a dollar sign. You'll be asked to confirm the password that you just entered. And now, you'll be asked to create a security question and answer for this admin account. The security question will be used to verify the admin account if you should happen to forget your password. For security purposes, don't select a question with an answer that's readily available or easily shared with others. Now, if I had the 2016 software installed, I'd be asked if I wish to pull preparers from last year. But for purposes of this video, I'll answer no. We'll instead enter new preparer information. I'll begin by clicking the new button and giving each preparer a preparer code number. This number can range from 1 to 999 and will be used to identify each individual preparer in my tax office. I'll finish entering all of the required preparer information, social security number, PTIN, name, and at this point, I'm also going to assign this preparer a username. The preparer will need this username to log into the software. I'll click the OK button and review my preparer information. But while we're here, let's take a look at option number 14, Preparer Security. When the preparer logs in for the first time, the preparer will create a password and a security question. You will not need to enter a password or the security question for the preparer at this time in the setup. Each preparer will be prompted to enter his or her own password, security question with answer, first time that he or she logs into the software using the assigned preparer username that was given from the admin account. Next, let's take a look at the role option in the preparer security menu. When you select this option, TaxLayer Pro displays the apply role window. The return preparer has restricted access to many areas of the program. Preparers can create or edit their own tax returns, and they do not have access to tax returns created by another preparer. The super user has access to all areas of the program except firm and preparer information. The super user has unlimited access to tax returns. The individuals who are assigned the unlimited role have unlimited access to all areas of the program. Now that we've explained the roles, we'll exit the Prepare Security menu and the Prepare Edit menu. At this point, you could add another preparer if you wish, but for purposes of this video, we'll exit. This will take us to the Bank Setup menu, where we'll select the bank that we've applied to that will provide our client refund bank products. In order to continue through this training video, we'll select currently not offering bank products. At this point in the setup, we're now at the fee menu. The fee menu lists every form within the program. Here, you can select the form for which you desire to charge a fee, enter the fee, Select the next form, enter its fee, and move down the list. Finally, review your fee menu and make certain that every form you wish to charge for has an associated fee. You can also indicate that you wish to charge by the hour. 
Once you've entered your fees, simply click the exit button. This takes us to the path menu. The only option that you may need to access in the path menu is the secondary backup path. If you wish to use a USB drive or external hard drive to store an additional copy of each tax return, you'll need to select the drive letter for your device and click the OK button. If you don't want a second copy of each return, leave this field blank. Now keep in mind, if you do select a secondary backup path option, you must have the backup device attached to your computer while using TaxSlayer, or the program will give an error message as you exit each individual client's tax return. Once you've finished with the path menu, you'll be at the macro setup. The macro setup will allow you to pre-populate the program with information pertaining to employers, daycare providers, bank routing transit numbers, K-1 entities, charitable organizations, and other information to save time and keystrokes when entering your client's tax returns. If you don't wish to pre-populate the software with any of this information, simply skip the macro setup and move to the next step of the configuration process. Next, you'll be asked if you purchased the TaxSlayer Pro Premium Package, and we hope that you did. Once you've entered your Pro Premium activation code, you'll be given the opportunity to set up your Pro Premium options, beginning with your paper cut email settings. We suggest, unless you're an advanced user, to select option number one, indirect through TaxSlayer Pro. You'll need to enter the email address that you wish to use for your client's correspondence. Once you've completed entering your email address, review your premium configuration menu options and make any necessary corrections or modifications. Once you exit the premium configuration menu, you'll be told that you've successfully installed the 2017 software. So now, let's open the program for the first time by double-clicking the TaxLayer Pro icon on the Windows desktop. I'm going to log in as the preparer, not the admin, but the preparer, so that I can set up the password and my security question. I'm told to leave the password blank to complete this first step in setting up this preparer. Now, I need to create a strong password and notice the instructions for creating this password. I'm going to enter my new password and next, I'll be asked to confirm my new password. And of course, they both have to match exactly. Next, I'll be asked to select and enter a security question. So, I'll choose our high school mascot, the Spartans. And I'll click OK. Now back at the prepare login screen where I can enter my password. When I click OK, the program recognizes me and tells me to have an excellent day. Now I'm at the main menu of the program ready to enter client tax returns. 
Thank you for watching this TaxLayer Pro tutorial video. Setup and configuration of the 2017 TaxLayer Pro desktop version.